Hey everyone, today we're going to be looking at creating a large scale render and how to optimize your scene to make sure it renders quickly and efficiently. The first thing to consider when creating a large scale render is the level of detail or LOD. LOD is how much detail you're displaying in your scene at any given moment. This means using lower detail models and textures in the background and higher detail models and textures in the foreground. This can help to reduce the amount of geometry in your scene which can help improve render times. It also reduces the amount of modeling that you have to do. So, being purposeful with LOD is very beneficial in many ways. As you can see, many of these buildings are extremely low poly and low effort, but they look alright in the final render. Could look a lot better, but this took next to no time to make. Another important consideration when creating large scale renders is focal length. Focal length refers to the distance between the camera and the subject of your scene. You can also think of it more simply as just the zoom of the camera. When working with renders at a large scale, it is important to use a higher focal length or higher zoom to capture the details of your scene. This will help to create a more realistic and immersive environment for your viewers. Generally, you'll see in cinema people using large focal lengths to capture large things. Applying the same technique inside Blender works really well. Texture and model scaling is another important factor to consider when working with large models. To ensure that your textures and models look their best, it's important to scale them appropriately. This means making sure that the scale of your textures and models matches the size of your scene. This can help to reduce texture stretching and other issues that can arise when working with large scale renders. Finally, mist, fog and volumetrics are essential when creating a realistic and immersive render on a large scale. These effects can help to add depth and atmosphere to your scene, making it feel more immersive and believable. By adding fog and mist you can create the illusion of distance, while volumetrics tend to be used to create dramatic lighting effects and add visual interest to your scene. Both of these can also be used to cover up unsightly details in your scene or things that you don't want the viewer to see. You can almost use them to paint over low detail models. The mist pass in Blender is really useful for this, and allows you real-time quick control within the compositor. As you can see, I can use the simple color ramp to adjust how much mist there is in the scene and how much of the background gets covered up in it. By using LOD, the right focal length, appropriate textures and model scaling, and adding fog, mist, and volumetrics, you'll be able to create stunning, large scale renders that will impress your friends. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed, likes and subscriptions are very much appreciated. And as always, I hope to see you in my next Blender video. It's been Yeeson, goodbye.